Well, it's really hot today, and you wouldn't know it by looking outside. It's so gray, and the clouds are in the sky, but the mugginess is unbelievable. Even your shirt gets soaked from the humidity in the air. And I was on a roll this morning about talking about the legacy builder and transformation. And I've been working like a dog every day trying to get prepared for uh, winter and uh, just getting established because next year I'll be freed up. Uh, I'm putting in all the work investment in my beingness so that I can free up myself to have a better life next year um, and what the legacy builder does for me and why I got involved was I needed something to shift my mind and I've seen some people go through a lot of things um, and I think legacy builder is a very good distraction or a very good hopefulness or something to look forward to I remember when I worked at the resort my jobs were hard every day long hours I knew I had to do it for five months straight and it really took a toll on me and but I knew it would come to an end and I had something to look forward to um, and I always had something planned for when I was going to get laid off all the books I was going to read all the things I was going to create all the things I was going to do and because I had a plan for the seven months that I would be taking the time to do other things that gave me more hope and direction in the little bit of available time that I had when I was at the resort. If there was moments, I would listen to audiobooks and like keep my spirits up. And I would be planning these projects in my head for the upcoming time. And that's what I find right now is I don't have a lot of time to dedicate to the Legacy Builder till October. I wish I could because everyone is taking off like a rocket, but, but I know that it's okay. I'm not concerned about that because everyone goes at their own pace and everybody relates to other people differently. Um, there is no concern for saturation or any of that with the Legacy Builder. Um, that's the beauty I find in it because there's so many different walks of life. and. Um, even your own timing about doing something when it's right it's right and when my beingness says okay in October even if it comes to my project taking a little bit longer definitely the new year and I spin off into something new I can feel it but because I have the legacy builder I can listen to the stuff every day and my mind is constantly processing how I'm going to go about it um, sometimes I have a little time and I throw a little bit into it uh, to practice for the upcoming time and I'm developing my mind so that when the time comes I will have this down pat in my mind um, so that's what I always find with everything in life it's good to have a future goal or a future something like people plan vacations or they uh, plan for a party or um, something that they're going to do in the future even a company will plan for some event they're going to do and that's what keeps the company moving forward even people when they get together relationships they plan that they're going to celebrate their life or get married or have children or something they're always planning something to keep their whatever it is they're working on going forward um, and becoming greater. So for me, Legacy Builder has really helped with um, getting out of a funk of, oh, this, is this all there is to life? Or am I ever going to get healthier? I was struggling with some health stuff and um, I found this really helped my mind. And at the same time, it got my mind working again in a positive way so that even with the health, I could start researching about health or researching about um, or just remembering um, the way I used to think differently and I, I used to web design us and do graphics and stuff like that and legacy builders helping me get back into the things that I miss that I put on hold or that I got so bummed out about that I just stopped doing all those things and uh, that's why I really think it's more than a business it's hope it's 
it's driving energy into a good channeling force it's creativity it it's making me want to manage my own personal life even better so that I can make space for it so I'm organizing I'm tidying up I'm getting rid of things I'm making comfortable places where I can see myself doing this and let's say um, I decided I didn't want to anymore which I really can't see because I'm so excited about it um, and I love everything about Legacy Builder I, I just I think it's the best thing in the world um, but let's say that it, it, it disappeared for a bit or something it isn't going to but my thoughts about it maybe me um, but I will always say thank you because it gave me energy it get, you need something to get excited about I know when you look around in the world when there's a new baby or the people get a new relationship or a new job or they start a new program at school or they start doing a new hobby um, they might have been in a funk a little bit prior to that but then when they started the shift in their mindset and their beingness into some new direction and uh, that gave them the energy and lift to um, every the whole world changes is it weird it's it's like some little thing changes even going vegan uh, is starting to study new food um, I don't know, picking up a guitar and learning a song, um, anything new, um, reading a new book. Um, you start with little things, and the Legacy Builder is kind of like that. Um, sometimes you need to buy into something to force yourself to want to change direction. Or you, Legacy Builder is great because um, it's kind of like, for me, I did the 67 Steps with Ty Lopez. That was amazing. I mean, if you don't want to get into Legacy Builder and you're in a funk and you want to pull something out of yourself, I would recommend doing the 67 steps um, to see what what's going on. Why did you get in a funk? Why, why did you start feeling blah about life? Or, um, or maybe you have an illness or something and you're trying to get better and you don't have the energy for a lot of things, but learning something new, even if you can just read or listen to webinars or audios, um, I think that really helps the body. I think it helps the body, the mind, the soul, um, your outlook on things. Um, starts giving you, when the, I think the brain gets excited and stimulated, it creates some kind of dopamine or um, endorphins um, that might even help with health. Um, so that's my other video for today and why I, I want to talk a little more about transition and transformation uh, the, sh the, the shift just requires something new something to get uh, feeling uplifted or hope or uh, a new look on a new leash on life um, and what I love about Legacy Builder is oh good something I can learn something something a new way I can make money and not have to go out um, so much just for making money. Now I can do all the fun things I want to do at home and uh, put time in this to make income to continue working with those projects or keep expanding my mind um, or start to see life differently or what would I like to create. There's so many opportunities online but it is the jump start to get that mind opening, that gate opening so that you can see something different and every time I listen to a webinar or do some of the lessons or even work on the graphics the graphics are very ther therapeutic and meditational you start working on a graphic and start thinking about optimism and positiveness um, you, you, you automatically shift into some joy um, some optimism yeah so that's what else I wanted to say today in another short video is um, you know if it isn't legacy builder anything whatever makes your heart um, happy but if you're kind of in a general place or or you don't have money to do a business that you really want to get into the legacy builder will give you the foundation and it will give you the lift in your mind 
I call it the step stone, um, the transitional uh, shift, um, just to get those juices going, get the creativity happening, get the, um, you know, when you're stuck in a rut or you think this is all there is or, oh, I hate my job, I can't handle this anymore. You need something to look forward to or hope, inspiration, motivation, um, just a possibility, a potential, the potential is there. And the possibility is just taking some steps of action to make the possibility possibly too real. <laughs> and it, it can just start in increments, yeah. But for me, um, it's done wonders. Um, I was feeling so funky and in a rut and you know, is this ever going to end this hard working all the time? Now we've been doing my projects and it's still a lot of work and I'm still busy. I feel enthusiastic and I want to keep steering it more in my direction. I don't want to go off and build everybody else's dreams and fix everybody else's crap and clean up every, uh, clean up after everybody else. I, I find this helps keep me on my own path, on my own track, on my own dream building yeah 